All right. Welcome to our yoga class this morning. We are going to start by coming all the way down onto our backs, beginning in Shavasana. Careful as we take ourselves down. Lengthening through the necks, long through the back, relax down through the shoulders, extending our arms out to our sides. Letting go of any tension through the lower backs into our hips, lengthening out the legs, turning those toes out. And as we begin our practice together today, the first step is simply becoming aware of how our body feels. We're going to check in with our body, starting with the top of our head, noticing our hair, making sure we're not going to get distracted by having a hair in our eyes. We're okay coming down through our neck, noticing any tension through the shoulders, all the way past the elbow into our fingers. Just try to notice how the hands are feeling. Coming down the torso, the rib cage, the back. Noticing our hips. Are we twisted or tilted? Finding that neutral pelvis. Coming down the legs, the thighs into the knees. Past the ankles, down into the toes. Using this as an opportunity to check in with each muscle, each section of our body, not necessarily to fix it, but just to become aware of it, how it's feeling today. Now focusing on our breathing, I want us to start taking a deeper inhale, allowing our diaphragm, that balloon, balloon that lives under our rib cage to expand and to rise to the ceiling. And whenever we take our exhale, it's like we're deflating that balloon, making it become smaller and feeling the torso the stomach area shrink. I want us to focus on this style of breathing a couple of times. It's an equal two-part breath. Slowly breathing in, filling the balloon, and slowly breathing out, feeling the balloon deflate. On our next inhale, go ahead and reach those arms long up above our head. Oh, opening up those shoulders, stretching through the backs, the chest, the arms. Notice how this feels as we can take deeper, fuller breaths now. Releasing our arms, let's gather our knees into our chest. Hugging onto the knees or behind on the thighs, let's start that gentle rock side to side. And as we hold knees to chest, giving ourselves that little bit of a hug, let's thank ourselves for joining our yoga class this morning, taking care of our body, giving our mind a break, and checking in with ourselves. Holding on to the knees, go ahead and just roll those ankles. What are we feeling? Cricks and cracks, any pinching throughout the legs or the hips? Taking our single leg stretch, we keep a hold of that right knee, lowering the left leg down to the ground, opening the right knee out towards the right shoulder, pressing that left leg down into the floor. Now as we do this, we're going to start to pay attention to the right inner thigh across the hips down that left thigh. Trying to keep the shoulders relaxed on the floor. Becoming more aware of the muscles in our legs. Now gently, I'll ask that we draw the knee towards that left shoulder, continuing to hug the knee in towards the body. Doesn't have to be a very big movement as we start to focus on the outside of the right hip now. Inhale, drawing in through the middle. Exhale, release the leg down. Take our time as we inhale, bring the left knee up into the chest. Open the knee out towards the left shoulder, gently pressing that right leg away. Checking in with the neck and shoulders again. Are we relaxing them down?
drawing the knee across towards our right shoulder now. Continuing to hug that knee in towards the body, noticing any stretch we're feeling in through the outside of that left hip. If we notice at any point our focus starts to wander, pay attention to the breathing or pay attention to the muscle stretch that we're feeling. Draw the knee back in and lower down. We'll take the feet flat onto the floor. Arms are coming down by our sides as we prepare for that bridge flow series. Anchor the shoulders into the mat. Let's inhale, lift the hips up to the ceiling. Exhale, slowly lower down. Now as we do so, let's keep left and right hips even. Inhale, lifting the hips up. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, lift, keeping the legs strong and sturdy. Exhale, lower. Just activating through those hips. Inhale, lift. Contracting through the glutes, stretching through the front of the thighs. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lifting the hips up. Exhale, lower down. Good, now I'd like us to take our arms out to the side, making a T with the body. Bring both knees up 90 degrees, ensuring that we've got strong ab muscles, very strong through the core as we take windshield wipers. Inhale in the middle. Exhale, lower the legs towards the right side. Inhaling through the middle. Exhale, lower to the left, nice and slow. Inhale, middle. Exhale, right using control. Inhale, middle. Exhale, left. Keep the shoulders on the floor. Inhale, middle. One more each side. Exhale to the right. Inhale, middle. Exhale to the left. Inhale, lift up to the middle. Exhale, lower the feet to the floor. Let's keep those knees bent. Just making sure that if we moved it all on our mat, we're comfortable again. Taking our right foot up and across the left knee, we'll find a figure four stretch opening up through our hips. Notice if we tilt it or twist it at all, let's keep the back neutral, the hips level. Gently using the right hand, press the right knee open. And if that feels good, let's stay here. If we just need a little bit more today, go ahead and take both hands just around your left knee, picking that leg up and giving it a hug. If it's an option, you can use your right elbow to push that right knee open a little bit more away from the body. Notice we've still got long necks, flat backs, and I want us to pay attention to our breathing. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, relax, like we're melting into the floor. All while paying attention to the muscles stretching in that right leg. One more big inhale. Exhale, release both feet down to the ground. And we'll cross the left foot over when we're ready. Now, before moving further, we'll take our time here, adjusting through the back, making sure our hips are still even and level, backs are flat on the floor. Gently pressing that left knee open with the left hand. Decide if this is where we'd like to stay, or if we'd prefer to take both hands Thread it around that right thigh, picking the foot up off the floor. Try to relax that right leg as we press the left knee away with the left elbow or just imagine pressing it away if that's preferred. Long necks resting on the flat part of our skull, nose points up to the ceiling, trying to work towards finding neutral alignment. Maybe we've twisted ourselves this week and now we're just going to press that reset button. Slowly lowering both feet down. Take our time now as we gently roll over onto our side and picking ourselves up. I'd like us to stop in the middle here, finding ourselves placed comfortably. We're going to find a butterfly stretch. Taking both feet in together, let's press the soles of our feet in, holding onto our ankles, sit up really nice and tall. Now gently start to hinge forward, leaving our backs flat. We can keep our elbows tucked or press the knees open with our elbows. From here, feel free to stay with a flat back. And if you want to extra stretch your neck, go ahead and tuck the chin. This is gonna help stretch through the upper back into our neck as well. 
all while holding the ankles and pressing those knees down toward the floor. Slowly rolling up. Now that focus mostly on the inside of the legs. I'd like us to take the right foot in front of the left foot, coming into an IT band stretch. Again, if we've lost our focus, I'll ask that we just bring it back. We're paying attention to stretching the body and nothing else. We take right foot in front of left foot, not crossing, simply a front. Notice if that's too much on that left leg, just stick it out to the side. The focus right now is on this right hip. So with this right knee bent, I want us to take both hands front, gently walk forward, keeping our sits bones on the floor. Those are those bony bones <laughs> in, our, in our bum. And we'll walk it forward. Again, we can always keep our back straight, but if we ever want to just add a little bit of extra stretch for the neck, go ahead and tuck the chin, relax the head. And I'll ask that we pay attention to our breathing. As we lengthen through the muscles around the outside of that right hip. So important to become in tune with our body. It's like taking an x-ray. And we're doing this with each stretch we take. We're talking about taking an x-ray on each section of our body. This particular x-ray is looking at that right outer hip. I'll get us to walk our hands back in. Take your time. We might be feeling a lot of sensation in that hip right now. So just be easy on it as we switch to the left foot. So we'll take that left foot now in front. Some of us may be sitting quite easily with the knees pressing down to the floor, the feet flat. This may be uncomfortable for some of us. So again, the right leg has nothing to do with this stretch. It's that left knee that I want bent with our sits bones, those bones right underneath our bum flat on the floor. And if we're able to keep both legs, we can keep them crossed here. Walking our hands gently forward, pressing that left hip down into the floor. We'll keep our backs flat as we send that tailbone back away. And if anyone wants that extra neck stretch, we drop the head down. Pay attention to the left hip now. What are we feeling? Is it different from the right? Is it similar? And whatever you answered, can we now think about why? Not that we need to fix it, just that we want to stretch it right now and understand why the leg feels this way. What have we done this week to maybe make it feel this way? Now slowly walking our hands back in, take our time gently hugging both knees into the chest and lengthen the legs out. Reaching forward into our forward fold from staff pose, we'll bring our hands up with a big inhale Oh my goodness, big reach for those lats. Exhale forward. And then whenever we feel that stretch, leaving our backs fairly flat, we drop our hands. They can be on the floor, the legs, or around the feet. And if again, we'd like to take that extra neck stretch, we drop the chin down. Noticing if that adds any extra pull down the mid back. Hold it here. With our inhale, we take a little bit of an assessment. Notice what we feel. With our exhale, we try to walk just a little bit farther forward or relax the back a little bit more down. All while keeping our legs glued together, our toes facing to the ceiling, heels are on the floor. Good, now slowly rolling ourselves up. Give those legs just a little bit of a shake. We'll continue working our legs in this manner drawing our right foot back into butterfly. With our right foot in butterfly, left foot straight forward, we're sitting again, very tall on our sits bones, even from right side to left side. Hands come on either side of that left leg as we find that single leg forward fold. Walking our hands forward, we're gonna start to feel maybe a little bit of a pull in the right back, maybe through the hip or maybe up that left leg. As soon as we feel the stretch, we'll stop holding it here and now just slowly drop the head down. Noticing if we opened up accidentally, I want 
both shoulders, right side and left side, square to that left foot. Slowly rolling ourselves up, taking that left leg out into a straddle. Again, let's keep those sits bones down on the floor. Taking our knuckles to the inside of the left leg, that right arm is going to slide all the way up. Oh, wonderful. Reach that right arm tall to the sky. Try not to reach too far over and collapse. We're not doing too much of an extension here. Instead, I want us to reach the right arm tall. If that's not comfortable, just take the arm behind our back. What I want the focus of the stretch to be on is pressing that knee, the right leg, the right knee down into the floor, keeping the hips on the ground, keeping the body open. So I want the shoulders to both stay open, which is helpful if we can keep that right arm up. Those left fingers, they're just gentle along the leg as we really expand through the side body, stretching up the side of our hip into our back. Very nice. Let's take a big inhale here. Oh my goodness. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a lot right now. So let's see if we can ease our way out of that. Take both legs forward into our staff position again. Let's take the stretches using the right leg front. The left foot's going to come into butterfly. We press the left knee open. Left foot is pressing into the right inner thigh. We just square our body. So if we're accidentally facing sideways, I want us to make sure that while we're sitting on our hips, that they face forward and we face that front knee. Hands on either side of the right leg as we walk forward. And the reason I'm being so particular about the position of our body is that I really want us to be specific with the muscles that we're stretching. So in this particular stretch, I want the chest lined up with our shin, pressing that knee away so that we can stretch the left side of our lower back, stretch a little bit through that left hip and a lot up the back of our right leg. Now again, we take our inhale, a little bit of an assessment, exhale, walk ourselves forward. And when I say assessment, I'm just asking us to check in. We're taking that x-ray, learning about what the muscle's telling us, listening to the body. And with our exhale, depending on the results of that scan, we might be able to get a little bit lower, walk our hands a little bit farther, or maybe that left shoulder left open, we're being able to bring it down a little bit more towards the floor, leveling off our shoulders. Now on our next inhale, I'll get us to walk our way all the way back up. Now keeping the left foot where it is, let's open that right leg out to the side, wherever it's comfortable. It doesn't have to be big. It can be quite small, as long as we're still sitting comfortably on those sits bones. That left knee is trying to press down to the floor, right knuckles on the leg. Let's sit up really tall here. Big inhale as we reach that left arm high to the sky. The knuckles are just sliding along the leg. Keep pressing that knee down. The focus is on stretching open that left side, maybe feeling a little bit through the back, through that shoulder as we open, and then through the inside of that right leg. So really paying attention to opening, not collapsing the shoulder, but opening, expanding. Yoga is so wonderful as we expand, we lengthen, we give space. And finding that space can be so magical. It can feel so good relieving some tension. Take that big inhale, lifting ourselves up. Oh, again, we might be feeling a lot right now. So just take our time here as we draw the knees in. And this time we'll flip ourselves over all the way up into tabletop position. Find in tabletop placing our hands directly beneath our shoulders. Remember, we always spread our fingers, soften our elbow joints. Knees are coming directly beneath the hips with our feet flat on the floor. Draw the bellies up, keeping our backs really nice and flat. Always aware of posture with long necks looking just ahead of our fingers. Taking our cats and cows. We inhale, open the chest, looking forward with our eyes into cow stretch. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, draw the belly buttons in, round the backs, tuck the chin, cat. 
inhale we open long neck lifting through the crown of our head exhale tuck the tailbone round the back really bring those shoulders high inhale open stretching through the core lengthening the back exhale cat round up as high as we can one more time in each position we inhale open and exhale round up really nice and high here good and from this position let's push our weight back into our heels finding child's pose extending our arms relaxing our heads taking a couple of deep breaths now while we're in child's pose if you've noticed that you've lost focus if you're thinking about a whole bunch of things if you are doing something else instead of child's pose at this very moment, don't be hard on yourself, that's okay. But now I need you to refocus. I need you to come back and really think about, okay, how do my hips feel? How do my shoulders feel? How does my back feel? While we're doing that, we're going to work our hands over to the right, taking them into our lat stretch, placing our left hand on top of our right, Pulling away from that left pinky finger as we stretch back through the left hip. Feeling sensation down the entire left arm, past the shoulder, into the rib cage. Carefully releasing the hands as we walk our hands now over to the left side right hand comes on top and we pull away from the right pinky finger pass that shoulder down in through the hip are we feeling a similar stretch that we just felt on the left is it different can we think about why that could be let's notice what we're feeling all right now let's walk our hands in through the middle taking ourselves up into tabletop. We're going to do a little bit of a lunge series here. So all face front, staying where you are on your mats. Let's take our right foot directly forward, knee stacked above ankle. We lift up nice and tall on our hips, making sure hips are level and they're both even. Shoulders are stacked right on top. Big inhale, lift up with those arms, long through the neck, shoulders and ears are away from each other. Zip up through the middle, working on our core. Let's see if we're able to close our eyes. A little bit of a balance check this morning. Holding runner's lunge, feeling very tall, in control of our body, in control of our breathing. As we stretch through those shoulders, and we might feel a nice stretch through that left hip down the thigh as well. For anyone taking care of shoulders today, remember the option is always hands and heart center. Otherwise, I expect hands nice and tall, reaching. Good. Now from here, I'll ask us to bring our hands down slowly. Now bringing up our hands on the inside of our leg, we're going to prepare for lizard. Go ahead and heel toe that right leg out just a little bit wider. Hands are directly underneath our shoulders, a good base of support. We're lining our shin up with our forearm. Feel free to turn the toe out a little bit if that helps. Otherwise, I want the foot flat on the floor, keeping the knee stacked right on top of the ankle. So sometimes we accidentally do a position like this. That's not helping anybody and it's hurting our knee. So let's make sure the knee is right on top of the ankle. Now, if we're holding this and we're thinking, I'm not feeling a lot, then you're going to come down onto your elbows. Again, keep that knee above the ankle. Try not to let it wander. We can also pick that back left knee up off the floor if that helps. Just notice if it's better to be on the knee, the foot, the elbows, or the hands. In yoga, there's never any expectation. There's no judgment and there is no competition. We simply listen and then we modify the pose so it fits our body's needs. Now from lizard, after a big stretch through that right thigh and into the inner hip, 
I want us to carefully sweep that leg all the way back behind us, pressing back into child's pose, sitting through the hips, extending our arm and getting really low with the head and the chest, whatever that might look like for you today. And before we repeat that lunge series on the left side, we're going to be taking thread the needle, drawing that right arm all the way underneath our left, laying into that right ear, stretching through the upper back, specifically through that right shoulder. Slow our breathing. We should be feeling fairly relaxed at this point. Drawing both hands through and that left arm will thread underneath the right now, laying into that left shoulder. Maybe closing our eyes if we haven't already. Focus on our breathing as we lengthen through the left arm stretching past the left shoulder. Slowly walking our hands forward, picking ourselves up through tabletop, sweeping our left foot up into runner's lunge this time. Taking that left knee, make sure it's stacked directly on the left ankle. We lift ourselves up, determining if we need to step the left leg out farther or bring it back in. Hips are level, we haven't twisted or tilted. And as we stretch through that right hip, I want us to zip up the core, roll those shoulders down, and lift the arms into position. Good. Holding runner's lunge. Let's see if we're able to close our eyes today. Maybe slow our breathing just a little bit more. Stretching through that right hip down the thigh. Noticing how our balance is with our left foot forward. One more big inhale. Exhale, releasing the arm down. We'll bring both hands to either side of the foot. Slowly drawing both hands to the inside as we prepare for lizard. So I've just heel toed my left foot out a little bit wider, making sure that you're comfortable with how far away that left foot is from your body. Knee stacked right on top of the ankle determining if you need to open the foot, rotate it open or keep it closed. If we need to stay on our hands or come down onto the elbows, maybe even playing with picking that back knee up off the ground. Notice that which version of the stretch it's best for us. Maybe we need to hold a more active pose with the back leg lifted. Maybe we need to get into it deeper by bringing both elbows down, or maybe it's best for us today Staying relatively high and just breathing into that left thigh. Really stretching across both hips. Take our time here as we gently ease our weight off of that front foot, drawing the knee behind us, pressing into child's pose one more time. So sitting those hips back, extending our arms forward, relaxing the head. For those of us who are interested, we're going to take a down dog next, pushing away from all 10 fingers, curl the toes underneath of us, lifting the hips up nice and high, and then start walking the dog, pedaling the feet, right foot to left foot, massaging from toe to heel. Good. Now slowly, just bringing the heels down as close as they'll get to the floor, bending the knees as much as they need to as we press away from the hands, just drawing the chest back towards the shins, shaking the head no, nodding the head yes. Good. Now softening the knees a little bit more, pushing our weight into our hands. We'll slowly work our way forward to planks. 
So regardless of if we were in child's pose or down dog, let's all come forward to plank. You can do this with your back straight, your legs straight, or you can always bring your knees to the floor as well. We'll slowly lower the body all the way down. Squeeze those shoulders together as we lift up for Cobra, whether it's baby or full. Long neck, soft elbows. Just notice how flat we can be here. And then draw our belly all the way back down to the ground. Good. Taking both arms out to the side as we prepare for that scorpion stretch. Wonderful chest stretch. Long through the chin. We just want to relax it comfortably on the floor. Make sure we're okay as we lay down here. Taking right hand under right shoulder. Right knee can bend as we slowly push ourselves over onto that left arm. Now we're not pushing ourselves so far that we're feeling a pain or a pinch. We're only rolling back as far as the body's going to be comfortable holding a stretch. You can keep your right foot on the ground. Maybe try placing the left foot on the ground as well. But if that was too much, bring it back down. All right, now slowly come onto the stomach again, reaching both arms out. Take our time bringing the left hand under the left shoulder, left knee bend, and we roll all the way over that right arm. Again, maybe we play with taking both feet onto the floor, or perhaps we preferred keeping one leg down. And we rotate onto the stomach, arms coming out to the side, and then slowly reach the hands back towards our rib cage on the floor. We start by lifting the head, and then the belly comes up into cobra, whether it's full or baby. See if we are able to lift the hips up just a little bit more and press back into down dog or child's pose. Now we're going to prepare to come into our pigeon stretch, finishing off those hips with one of our favorite hip stretches, our pigeon pose. We can kick that right foot up nice and high and kick it all the way forward into the left wrist. That back leg is long behind us. Our belly buttons are pointing straight to the front and we're balancing on knees and feet, leaving our hips lifted getting into the position however you need to if that wasn't how it was working for us today. Staying up on our hands or finding elbows or laying our head down onto the fists. In pigeon pose, I want us to pay attention to the sensation that we're feeling through the outside of that right hip, maybe coming down the thigh. Some of us even experience sensation through the backs. Try to close your eyes. Try to slow the breathing and just notice what we're feeling. Taking our time. I want all of us to come onto the hands, sweep the legs back into down dog or child's pose. And we can lift those hips up nice and high. Notice any additional stretch through the backs of our legs. Take our time as we prepare to do pigeon on the left foot, taking that left foot high to the sky, kick it all the way up to our right hand. The left knee is coming up towards our left hand, we make sure that that right leg is directly behind us. Sometimes it wanders and we're not aware of it. Just every now and then double check that our legs are exactly where we want them to be. We can drop the hands to the floor or the elbows and even bring the head down if that's what feels good for us today. As we're lying here, notice if you fell onto your left hip, this is not an effective stretch. We don't wanna lay on the left hip. We wanna pick ourselves up so we're resting on the knees and the feet. So try to avoid ever laying down on the thigh and just notice our breathing. Slow, deep breaths in and out through the nose.
slowly bringing those hands onto the floor, sweeping the feet back, finding down dog or child's pose. Holding this stretch for a little bit of time, really noticing how long the arms can be, how far the tailbone can be away from our hands. And if we're in down dog, how close the heels can be to the floor. Trying to release a little bit through the backs of the legs, really picking the tailbone up nice and high. Stretching those shoulders as we draw the chest towards the knees. Shake the head no. Nod the head yes. All right, slowly working our way onto our hands and knees and tabletop. Sweeping our legs around forward, sitting comfortably. We're going to do just a couple of seated stretches before we finish with meditation, laying on our backs or choosing to stay seated. As you do so, let's make sure those shoulders are down, sitting up really nice and tall. Crown is very supported and held proudly on top of our head. Taking our next stretch, let's drop that right ear over towards right shoulder. Maybe we need to push that left hand away to really emphasize and encourage the left shoulder into the neck area to stretch. Now I'll ask that while we hold this, start just playing a little bit with the angle of the chin. Notice that it feels a little bit better looking up or a little bit better looking down. That can change where the stretch is concentrating. Now inhale, lifting up, hold it here. Make sure we're still very comfortable, sitting up very tall. Taking the left ear over now towards left shoulder. And we can push that right arm away. <sighs> Noticing everything that we're feeling through the side of our body. And now start playing with that angle of the chin towards the shoulder. And if you feel an exceptionally good stretch, wherever that might be, I want you to hold it. All right, slowly coming up with that. Taking our arms out to the side. Thumbs are up to the ceiling. Good, I want us to reach them around a tree like you're hugging a tree. Thread your fingers together and now draw your belly buttons in, tuck your chin and round your shoulders. Keep holding on to that tree. Noticing any stretch happening through the shoulders, the upper backs. Now dip our left shoulder down and we're going to just look under that right elbow. See if that helps our stretch at all. And we come through the middle, tilting towards the right side, looking underneath that left elbow. Coming through the middle, now lift our arms all the way up nice and tall. Good, taking our hands behind our head, open those elbows like we are sitting outside on the most glorious beach you've ever been to. Looking out over the water, maybe we can even close our eyes. Just an amazing stretch through the chest, the arms, the neck. And as we're experiencing just this feeling washing over us, feeling safe, feeling happy, feeling healthy, I want us to close our elbows in around our head together, tuck our chin and drop the head down. We can even draw the belly buttons in, rounding the back. Notice any stretch happening through the upper back into the neck. Slowly rock the head towards the right side. Notice if that feels good, if we're feeling anything here. And then slowly rocking the head towards the left side. Coming back through the middle. Activate the abdominal muscles as we lift up really nice and tall. Unfolding those elbows, reaching the arms up nice and tall here and release them down. Very good, let's take a couple shoulder rolls. 
it was a lot of very isolated, specific stretching happening through those shoulders. Now we can choose to stay seated or for anyone who'd prefer, go ahead and lay all the way back down onto our mats. And we'll finish our practice with a little bit of a meditation. Extending our legs, if we're laying down with our hands resting out to the floor or on our bellies. And if we're choosing to sit, just making sure that we're sitting tall with dignity. Doesn't have to be necessarily be seated comfortably, but just sitting tall and proud. Now, as we're choosing our position for final relaxation, I want us to close our eyes, become more aware of our breathing. And pay attention to allowing both shoulders, both hips, to just release evenly down. Good. Couple big breaths. Rolling those shoulders down into the mat. I want us to start expanding through our diaphragm. Remember the diaphragm is sitting right underneath the rib cage. So with our big inhale, we expand the ribs. Exhale, melting in. Let's really focus on this right now. Take that inhale, expand, setting everything else aside. Exhale. Inhale, expand. Exhale. Now keep doing it on your own time, whether that's faster or slower. Noticing that when we pay attention to our breath, it allows everything that's going around in our mind to slow down and become more focused. We're able to put things into perspective. Maybe things that have been upsetting us, we're able to see from a different point of view. Maybe things that have been causing us a little bit of stress or worry, now we're able to see maybe isn't as important or as urgent as we once thought. If things are really, really important to us, they're here after we're finished our meditation. They're there for us to do with a fresh boost of energy. Using our yoga practice to reset, to recharge. I want us to take that last big inhale in together. Exhale, 